Can you show me how to write a good cover letter? This is the question that I get from lot of my subscribers and that is why today I am going to show you in detail how you can write a good cover letter. This is the example of a cover letter that I have for you. It has got everything. I have covered every situation in this example. And trust me, cover letter is the single most important document. Now before I walk you through this cover letter, it is important for me to explain to you the concept of cover letter. So cover letter is basically a letter of explanation. What you are doing is that you are explaining your situation to the immigration officer as well as you are requesting the immigration officer, hey, this is my profile. You are trying to talk all the good points about you and you are requesting the IRCC that please approve my visa. So when you are going to write a cover letter, you will always have a purpose of visit in mind that this is the reason why I am visiting Canada. But important thing is that you should be able to link your profile with your purpose of visit. What do I mean by that? For example, let's take my situation. I am an avid traveler. I am a content creator and I travel multiple countries. I document it. I make a video about it. And I'm going to talk about this when I'm going to write my own cover letter. Because since I am an avid traveler, I like to visit countries. I'm going to visit Toronto this time. And this is the reason why I'm visiting because I am a content creator. I'm going to document this and then I'm going to upload this on my YouTube. So this is how I have linked my profile with my purpose of visit. Similarly, you can do the same thing. For example, if you attend some event, if you attend some festival, and you have previously attended the similar kind of festival in different country or different places, you should be mentioning that too. Now this part was about tourism. What if, if you are going to visit your family? What if, if you are going for a business visit? Again, you should talk about your profile that I am in this job, I am in this business and this is the reason why I am going to attend this event or this meeting. Remember the top two reasons why visa gets rejected. First is that you are not able to show your home ties. I'll talk about it in a little while. The second reason why the visa gets rejected is that your purpose of visit does not seem genuine and you are not able to justify your purpose of visit. Now let's talk about home ties. That is the second most important thing that you should be mentioning in your cover letter. Again, number one reason why visa gets refused because the immigration team thinks that your home ties are weak, you do not have a strong connection to your country and therefore they refuse your visa. So what is home ties? Home ties is your connection to your home country. My situation, I am an Indian. How strong are my ties to India? So how could be my ties be strong to India? For example, let us say I am an employed professional. I work in India. That is my connection to India because employment gives me reason for me to go back to India after my vacation. Therefore, employment related documents, it is very important and you should be mentioning about employment in this cover letter. Second thing that is very important after employment is family. Your family is also very important because your family is the reason why you will come back to India after your vacation to Canada. For example, let us say you have dependent parents. So you have the elderly parents, you're going to take care of your parents. And that is something that you should be mentioning in this cover letter. What if, if you are running a business? So that is a reason for you to go back to your home country. You should be mentioning about that too. So employment, your business, your parents, your wife, your children, these are all your connection to your home country. Your properties, your properties are also your connection uh, to your home country. So if you have got a lot of properties, mention that in your cover letter. Your investment, your investment is also your connection to your home country. If you have got a lot of investment, mention that in your cover letter. Basically, what you're trying to do here is that you're trying to sell yourself in the cover letter that, hey, I'm a tourist or uh, I'm a visitor. I'm going to visit my family and this is my profile. I'm a, I have a good profile. I'm just going to visit Canada and I'm going to go back to my country because I have got a lot of commitments back home. And that is why I'm going to go back to my country after my visit. Now that I've talked about cover letter, let me walk you through this cover letter. This cover letter, you can also call it letter of explanation. You can call it visa request letter. So this should be directed to IRCC. So to IRCC, subjects should be that uh, visitor visa application for travel to Canada. So the first part is the detail about myself. I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about my date of birth. I'm talking about the, my nationality. And I'm also talking about my company, my where I'm working, what is my job profile at this point. This is the first part. The first part is your detail. Second part is purpose of visit. Why are you going to visit Canada? 
So in second part, I have talked about my purpose of visit. I have said that I would like to travel this country from this state to this state I would like to travel. So over here I have uh, highlighted this in red because the purpose of visit could be different for different people. Uh, it could be business for some, it could be event for some, it could be just plain and simple tourism for some, some could be going to visit their family. So a lot of reasons for a lot of people. So I have highlighted this. For me, let us say I'm going there just for tourism. So I have mentioned that during my stay, I would visit different tourist attractions. I have mentioned their names that these are the attractions that I will be visiting. And then I went on to highlight that my desire to visit Toronto is purely driven by my genuine interest in experiencing Toronto's unique charm. After that, I have talked about my strong points. So this is important because these strong points will help me establish link between my profile and my reason for visit, which is tourism. So you should be doing the same thing. Try to establish link between your profile and why you are going to visit. I've already mentioned that I'm a content creator. I travel different countries. I document about it. And that is why I'm visiting Toronto. I want to experience this charm of the city. I'm going to document it. Once I am done with that, I will talk about my funding. So this is again a very important point. I'm highlighting this as well. So purpose of visit is one important point. Home ties is second important point and funding is third important point. So all these three reasons are the reason why some of your visa could be refused. So keep this in mind. So when I talk about funding, I explain it to them that this is the fund that will be available with me for my stay in Canada. I also tell them that I have an employment and this is the salary that I will be getting from my employment. And this gives me source of income. And again, this gives me a steady income and it ensures that I have financial security for this trip. Now here comes the big one. So this part is about your ties to your home country. So how I have explained it. So I have mentioned that I have a steady and secure job and which requires my presence. Like my job requires me to be present. So it will be very helpful for you if you can get a no objection certificate or a leave letter from your employer in which if they can mention that uh, you will be on vacation because of uh, you're going to Canada and you will be absent for this period and you will resume your, your duties on this and this date. So it will be very helpful for you to get a leave letter like that. So I have mentioned that my job requires my ongoing presence. I have also mentioned that I am a primary caregiver of for my elderly parents so that is also very important so i have highlighted two things that my job requires me to be back home and my parents who are elderly i need to take care of them and these are the reasons why i would be going back to my home country so as you can see that i mentioned that i understand the importance of returning to my country because of my family and my professional ties which uh, awaits my attention. So I will be going back to my country because of this reason. So now that I have mentioned all these things, I am telling them that I'm a responsible traveler. I have made all the arrangements for my trip, including accommodation and other details. And I have purchased travel insurance as well. After that, I have mentioned that I will abide by all the rules and regulations. And finally, I have mentioned all the documents that I will be attaching to support my application. So I will be attaching my passport. I will be attaching my itinerary. Next video that I'm going to be making will be related to itinerary. So that will be very helpful for you too. I will be attaching my employment related documents, my financial documents, travel insurance. And finally, I have mentioned that if they want to reach out to me, they can reach out to me. I've given my details and finally I have signed it off. So this is how you write a good cover letter. I've explained everything that you need to know in order to get your Canada visa approved. If you like this video, please subscribe. This will motivate me to bring more videos for you. Thank you so much.